There we go. Beautiful fish. Let's see if we can get a few more of them, we'll be happy. G'day guys, welcome to today's video. So today's video is pretty much for the beginners out there. Um, you're new to soft plastics fishing, you want to learn how to rig them, what to use, the techniques to use when using them. So today's video, I'm going to explain a few things, then I'll show you some footage of some recent trips, and we'll go back and forth a couple of times and you can see exactly what I mean. So there's two soft plastics in question that I'm going to be talking about today. And one of them is a new soft plastic that, funnily enough, I got out of the clearance bin at BCF. The other one is a soft plastic that I've been using for about three years down at Campbell's Cove. And I've caught some absolute cracker flathead with this soft plastic. I've even caught my PB flathead from this soft plastic. And again, I got that out of the clearance bin as well. And unfortunately, you can't get these soft plastics anymore. So the ones I have are pretty much it. Once I lose them, that's it. I won't have any more. Um, I'll go through the scent that I use on both the soft plastics. So up first, guys, the soft plastic that I've been using for a fair while now down at Campbell's Cove, down at my local, is the Savage Gear Sand Eel. So the Savage Gear Sand Eel in motor oil. And what this plastic looks like is this guy here. Today's video, I'm going to be basing it on Campbell's Cove. So... This is the soft plastic here. What you'll notice is I've got that rigged and it looks like it's rigged upside down. I've found that that plastic rigged that way catches me more fish than what it would if it was rigged that way there. But I've caught more fish with that soft plastic at Campbell's Cove than I have with any other soft plastic I've used down there. So like I said, the jig head in question is a quarter ounce jig head. It's a TT Lewis jig head. I also use the Jiggle Fishing bullet jig heads and both the jig heads work just as well. They will catch you plenty of flathead, plenty of pinkies, probably even pick up a snook um, if they're around at the time. But this plastic is my go-to anytime I want a feeder flathead. So this is what a brand new packet looks like. You get five plastics in there, they're salted, they're scented, and they're ready to go. So chuck them on a jig head and Bob's your uncle. You out there at home can probably catch a flathead as well. All right, so these soft plastics, I do have them in a couple of different colors. So this one here, this one here is a glow. So it looks like a white with like pepper sort of thrown through it. Um, and this is the other one. So this is the pearl silver. So this is white with red and silver fleck through it. Again, you can see there's five in there. I haven't actually used them. But I got both of them out of the bargain bin and I think I paid $3 per a packet. So for nine bucks, absolute bargain. If you want to see the sand eel in action, stay tuned and watch the next bit of footage. I think I got a little flatty. Sure do. Uh, target species. Hey, beauty. There you guys. Pin straight through the top jaw. Beauty. So I'm at anchor, we've got the rods out for some gummies or some flatties and we've just pulled in another small flatty. There you go guys, another little flatty. Beautiful. Yeah, 
Laddie from Campbell's Cove. It's only little, it is legal. So just coming home, We're having flooded tacos for dinner tonight. All right, guys. So that bit of footage with that sand deal curl tail, pretty good. Caught a couple of flatties. They weren't overly big, but but currently down at Campbell's Cove, there's a lot of flathead down there. There's just not a lot of size at the moment. There's not a lot of reports coming out that big flathead are being caught. They're definitely there, and persistence will pay off. So up next, soft plastic number two. Now again, like I said at the start of this video, I got these out of the bargain bin. And I think these ones cost me three bucks, three dollars fifty, something like that. And I haven't really had a chance to use them. Um, I was down at Campbell's Cove recently, and I thought, why not? I'll give them a crack. I wanted to try something that the flathead down there haven't seen before. Um, took a chance, and I took them down. I took one packet of these plastics down, and I will get into what they are in a second. Was not disappointed. Uh, within I think it was the third cast, we'd hooked up to a flathead and brought him on board. So the plastics in question are these guys here. So these are the Z-Man and TRD hogs. Now, what they look like is this here. So it's like a little creature bait type thing. Got some little legs on the back there. Got a couple of legs on the side as well. They're, this color in particular, is the California Craw. Um, it's got like a green motor oil bottom with a red fleck, and the top is sort of like a darker green, like a black type color. The jig head that I've got that on is the Ned, I'm pretty sure it's a Ned Locks jig head. So that's head down, bum up. So what that means is when it sits on the bottom, this lure sinks all the way to the bottom, it hits the bottom. Because Z-Man lures float, it sits in the water like that. So those feelers, when the water's moving, they're gonna move around and they're gonna attract some fish. And I've got that jig, I've got that rigged on a weedless jig head. So that's to keep that out of the weeds and everything like that. So ideally when you're down at Campbell's Cove, you wanna be fishing the weed edges of the sandbars and the weed banks and stuff like that. And that's where your flathead are gonna be. So that's that guy there. That jig head is a one eighth of an ounce jig head on, I think it's a size 2.0 weedless hook. Um, I could be wrong, it could be a size 1.0. But that's the TRD Hogs soft plastic. Um, like I said, this is the first time that I've used this soft plastic down there, but I just wanted to try something different. Um, something that the flathead haven't seen. You get a lot of people down there fishing um, motor oil grubs in a range of different patterns. And with this guy, I just want to try something, like I said, something different, something they haven't seen, throw it out and see what happens. And sure enough, we got a couple of flatties. If you want to see this guy in action, stay tuned, have a look how we went casting this guy around and watch this next bit of footage. Yes, Sean. Yes. Tangled my other line. I don't care. All right. Yeah, the hell. Alright guys, welcome to today's video. So today's video, we're going to be cooking a fried flathead with garden salad. 
Now, I've got a little herb mix here. In this herb mix is a mixture of smoked paprika, some mustard powder, some garlic powder, some onion powder, salt and pepper, and some parmesan cheese. So what we're gonna do with that is just shallow fry it, um, and then make a garden salad to go with it. So first things first, what you wanna do, get your fry pan, got some extra virgin olive oil, probably not the best oil to fry with, but that's what I'm gonna be using tonight. So you just wanna put enough oil in that pan just to coat the bottom of the pan, about that much, and get that pan to temperature, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with the flathead. All right guys, so with the flathead, what I wanna do, get a little freezer bag, and put all the flathead into your freezer bag. So what I've got here is about six little fillets. Now, these fillets were off flathead that were between 30 and 35 centimeters. So perfect eating size flathead. So there's our fillets in the bag. All right guys, so with this little spice mix that I've got, I've made that up before time, just to save a bit of time when cooking, cooking this dish. So in the bag, empty your spice mix, seal your bag, and then give it a bit of a shake. Now this pan's not gonna take long to get the temperature because there's only a little bit of oil in there. So there we go. You just wanna coat, coat the flathead just like this. Ideally, you wanna leave that in the fridge for about 20 minutes just for the flathead to soak up all those flavors. All right guys, so that oil's at temperature. You can see that it's smoking. It's probably a little bit too hot, so we're just gonna turn that down a little bit. All right. All right guys, so that oil's at temperature. Just got a little bit of a preparation going on. So we've got some paper towel there. We're gonna drain that off. While the fish is cooking, we're gonna prep our salad. So what you wanna do, just chuck the fish in. Now, the fish isn't gonna take long, probably only a couple of minutes on either side. All right, and that smells absolutely amazing. All right guys, so while that's cooking, we'll quickly run outside. I'll show you the veggie patch that I've got and I'll show you what we're, what we're growing. All right guys, so here's my little veggie patch that I've got growing. So down here, I have some cos lettuce and we've got some tomato plants here. Got a couple of plants, I haven't actually got tomatoes yet. They've only been in the ground a couple of weeks. Got some mint growing and I've also got some potatoes over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick some lettuce leaves off the lettuce at the moment. Um, they're fairly nice and clean, they've been washed recently. So we'll pick some of the bigger leaves and we'll put them on the plate with you. That's up, man. What I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go over a couple of different plants and take the lettuce leaves from them because I've already started taking some leaves off the other plants so I don't want to take too many from each plant.
there's a quick and easy garden salad, fried flathead, fit for a king. The flathead mix, the spice mix that I've put on there has already got salt and pepper in it, so you don't need any more salt and pepper. Probably just get a squeeze of fresh lemon juice over the top, maybe a little bit of mayo, maybe even some tartare sauce. But otherwise, there's a great meal, fit for a king, ready for dinner. So I'm gonna go and enjoy this now, guys. I hope you enjoyed that quick video. So until next time, guys, see you on the water. Cheers. <music>